What advice do you have for thermal majors? Okay, an advice would be is uh, it's a lot of material. Uh -huh. Like our first exam is coming up on in, in nine days. Okay. And it's only three chapters. It might not sound like a lot, but three chapters of thermodynamics is basically equivalent to seven chapters of a regular calculus book. Wow. Yeah, it's over like at least I would say 300 pages, just the three huh. chapters. Yeah, our book is like this thick. Wow. Yeah, and that's only three chapters covering the introduction to thermodynamics. We, yeah, not, we haven't went to deep stuff like analyzing full engines and systems interacting with the environment. Yeah, so just uh, do your homework and uh, stay on track. <laughs> how, how many people are in your class? We have a full class, almost uh, 300. 350 students. How many are left? We probably lost like uh, 25 students. It's not much. Well, after okay. the exam, right? It's going to go hard. After the exam, yes. Yeah, I realized that in my previous engineering classes, after exam one, uh, we lose like a quarter of the class. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you. Good. You're welcome. Yeah, what's your major again? Aerospace engineer. Aerospace. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so still a long way to go. No, it's not that bad actually. It's uh, <laughs> I would say engineering is easier than math and pure physics. You think so? I think so, yeah. Really? Yes, Why? I do. Uh, it's not a lot of complex math that we have to do and the concept if you actually read the book and understand it, it's it's easier. But isn't that harder than like just doing an integral? Like, yeah. Well, I can do an integral and then understand the concept and derive the integral. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like in like in dynamics right now, we don't have we don't actually memorize equations. We derive an equation based on the system that we have and that's will be based on a figure or or uh, the the chart that we get. Yeah, physics people do that as well. Yeah. 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 How do you study for your tests in those classes? You just <laughs> keep going. I'm just curious. <laughs> Well, a lot of people don't believe in reading the actual book uh, for engineering classes, and I would say they are super wrong. So what I do, personally, I would take the book, open it page by page, take my notes, and then uh, if, if I have online lectures, I would watch them. Otherwise, if I have live lectures, I have my notes and then I go to class and uh, just add whatever I need to add. But if they don't read the book, how they say they just do example problems? They just go by what the professor says and the uh, example oh, worked out in the so in the class. Use notes for lecture and then use homework. Like yes, that. and then and then they get C's and D's. Yeah, but hey, yeah. C's get degrees, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. when you're an engineering major, yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. Awesome. I don't know, aerospace is another level though. They expect a lot from you guys. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We work with a bunch of mechanical engineers, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's like I'll just keep it there. Okay.